sweet potato black bean burrito with cashew queso. It was so good. It's vegan. <laughs> Um, I remember we were in a trailer park. Trailer parks are the best for missionary work. And I see this hose on from the porch. Like, it's just, like, running off the porch. And I was like, that's just weird. Like, we need to go tell them that it's off. I mean, that it's running to turn it off. And so I was in a trio at the time. One companion, like, ran around to, like, turn the hose off. Like, I'm going up the stairs, like, trying not to get sprayed on. And this person walks out of their house and like, what are you doing? And we're like, your hose is on. Like, we wanted to tell her. She's like, oh, thank you. And then from there, like, we're missionary. She's like, oh, I'm a sister too. And we're like, what? And then we, like, found out that she is, like, a less active in our ward and the records, we didn't have her records. So it's like a crazy experience just from a hose. <laughs> I think one of the spirit, like most spiritual experiences I had was um, being in an interview with President Brown um, and just knowing how much he loved all of us missionaries and that he wanted the best for us. The scriptures are real. <laughs> I think that was the best lesson I learned was that like, the scriptures are real and can help us in any single moment. There are times I was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm so stressed. Like, I was just like crying. Like, oh, uh, like, Heavenly Father, help me out. I was like, Heavenly Father, I know I'm going to turn to something that will help me. And I turned to it, like, read the scripture, and it's like, exactly what I needed. Like, the best lesson I learned was that scriptures are real. <laughs> um, I learned how to organize better and keep records because keeping records is key. Sometimes you'll have missionaries that don't keep records, and that's so hard to do missionary work without records. Uh, People taught me how to do cookies. They're not called donuts in the snow, like when you like spin the car. They're called cookies in my mission. People would do those, and it'd be kind of scary, but still fun. <laughs> I don't think I ever personally did it, okay. but you people would be like, oh, pull the emergency brake. I was like, okay, I'm not trying that. <laughs> <laughs> Learn, preach my gospel. Just the first three lessons, learn them front and back, know the order. It will help you out so much because that first few days, you're going to be teaching right away. And so if you know those, you can like jump right in and it'll be the best experience because President Brown will ask you when you have your trainer's follow-up meeting two weeks from when you start some miracles that you've seen. And it's so much cooler if you can say that you've taught and that even invited someone to be baptized. And it'll really help you for the rest of your mission. I would say apply the same thing that we learned in the mission. Just prayer and scripture study are huge for me. That's what keeps me going. I mean, I don't have the luxury of spending an hour each day to study the scriptures, but still studying them before I go off to school or just in the morning or when I can really helps me. And prayer. I miss saying prayers out loud all the time, but I still say them sometimes, and it's the best. So I'd say just keep praying and reading. I would say the vegan burrito would totally trump the elk steak. <laughs>